With the debut of the all-new Ford Bronco Raptor, go ahead and call it the Braptor, the battle for off-road supremacy has never been hotter. Bred from the same Baja-inspired thinking as the F-150 Raptor, the Braptor brings significantly more capability to the table than its regular production counterparts. The same thing can be said about the Jeep Wrangler 392, which is clearly the new Raptor's main competitor. How do these two off-roaders stack up? Ford Performance's mission for the Bronco Raptor was to build an Ultra 4 inspired off-roader you can use for Walmart runs. In order to achieve that level of performance, balanced with a commuter's practicality, Ford Performance started from the ground up. The Raptor receives a new fully boxed frame constructed from high-strength steel, complete with modified shock towers for improved durability and increased wheel travel. The SUV packs a Raptor Haas 4. Zero system, which includes Fox's Fury. One internal bypass semi-active dampers. Ford combined with a set of unique control arms, the SUV offers 13 inches of wheel travel up front and an impressive 14 inches out back. Those figures represent gains of 60% and 40% travel over the base Bronco, respectively. The truck also features a minimum ground clearance of 13. 1 inches. The Wrangler 392 features upgraded frame rails as well, complemented by a 2-inch factory lift kit, Fox aluminum monotube shocks, and unique suspension geometry. That helps the SUV achieve 10. 3 inches of ground clearance with improved suspension articulation. While the Wrangler 392 lags a little behind in the ground clearance category, it's partially due to the shoes each truck wears, 